Hello my dear students, I am Flora Ma'am and I am here to teach you Social Study, the second part of Chapter 7, We Care. Dear students, please listen to my explanation and do all the exercise given below. Please take care of yourself, wash your hands and listen to your parents. Thank you. Caring for the needy. There are many people who cannot buy enough food for themselves. Some of them even live on the streets. The children of these people may not have proper clothes or toys. They may not be able to go to school. We can help these people in a number of ways. Now children, when you travel in the train or by bus, car, roadside or in the station, you'll see, you'll find many people who's begging. They don't have food to eat, don't have clothes to wear. Okay? So, and they don't even go to school like how you go to school. So children, we can help these children. We can help these people in many ways. We can collect our old clothes, toys, shoes, extra food items and medicine and distribute them among these people. There are a number of NGOs or non-government organizations that collect these items from people and donate them to the people and the needy. So dear children, we can collect all our old clothes, toys, shoes, extra food and distribute. Give them. Those who don't have, the people who really need, give it to them. Or give these things to, uh, there are a number of NGOs, okay? Non-governmental organization, okay? So we can give it to them. And in, in these uh, NGOs, uh, poor people live there so these things what we have used it and it is lying at home these things can be used by them give our old books to a child who may not be able to buy them be friends with these children and ask them to join us when we play games so dear children we can give our old book to them think those children are going to school but they don't have book Okay, give your old books to them. When you are playing, tell these children to join you. Play with them. Okay? Caring for the differently abled. There are people who may not be able to see, hear or talk. Some of them may not be able to walk or sit. These people are called differently abled people. They have special needs and may have some learning difficulties. So there are some people, children, who, who are not able to see, hear or talk. Okay, so these, and even not able to walk. So these people are called differently able. They have special needs. Okay, they have special needs and may have some learning difficulties. They won't be able to learn or read, okay, or pronounce the word clearly. So we need to be helpful to them. We should not be rude with, to them, okay? Differently abled people help themselves using different methods. For example, the people who cannot talk or hear use sign languages to communicate. Those who cannot walk use wheelchairs to move around. So differently able people, they have different method of talking and walking. Like when they want to talk, they'll make some sign languages, okay? And when they want to move from one place to another, they'll use the wheelchairs.
okay they are, they don't have the legs they cannot talk they are not like us so they use this type of thing to talk or move special schools called inclusive schools have both differently able and other children studying together these schools help the differently able children to learn using different methods and provide them a better learning environment so there are special school okay called inclusive school okay these school have uh, um, different teachers and different children okay so these teachers understand them well and help the children to study okay and help them with different method in learning okay we can help the differently able people or children in these ways we should never make fun of them we should treat them with respect we should be friendly towards them and talk to them we should be helpful towards them so dear children we can help these type of people in different ways the first thing is we should not make fun of them see you you got your two hands leg eyes nose mouth but these people don't have it so we should not make fun of them okay we should treat them and respect them we should re respect them we should not make fun of them okay we should be very friendly to them we should talk to them okay and we should help them so my dear children i hope you have gained a lot of knowledge in this chapter and you will do what is right